Hey guys, just wanted to share with you a little upgrade, a little modification I just did to the Murray. And what that is, is a 28 millimeter Makuni style carburetor. I say Makuni style because it's not a genuine Makuni. Um, it's Molkt, M-O-L-K-T. 28 millimeter is like a half a millimeter smaller than the port on the intake manifold. So it actually is just about perfect. Um, I changed none of the jetting. The only setting I had to adjust was the needle setting. I set the C-clip all the way to the bottom of the needle so it makes it the richest it can possibly be. And I adjusted my idle, which I still tweak that every once in a while, but it's pretty easy. You can just grab it with your fingers and adjust it. It's pretty sweet. And just because I know people are gonna ask me how I mounted it, uh, this is the original or an original intake manifold for a Briggs & Stratton OHV, which this is in fact a 28 cubic inch Briggs & Stratton OHV motor single cylinder obviously. It will bolt into the original manifold. The only thing you're going to have to do, and I'll put a picture right here, is use a rat tail file. Try to move the holes inward and upward. You're going to just basically rat tail file uh, the holes, elongate them in a 45 degree angle up and in towards the center. And you'll have to test fit it and you know bolt it in, check it again, stick your finger through the carburetor, take the slide out, you know, so you can see in there, shine a flashlight through one end of the manifold. And when you're running your finger around on the inside, feel for a lip and you'll know when you've got it where it needs to be because this has its own gasket inside of it. Um, but other than that, almost completely bolt-on installation. I didn't jet anything. I just hooked up the fuel, uh, adjusted the needle, like I said, and the uh, idle. That's it. It still hooks up the same throttle cable that runs from the gas pedal. Um, this is a stupid little adapter that I need to replace. As you can see, it's kind of bent and fatiguing. I've driven this thing once the way it is and I'm kind of terrified that's going to break off and piss gas all over my exhaust and light on fire. But you know, who cares? That's why they call me fearless, right? Um, the choke is right there. So you kind of have to adjust it by hand. It's a pain in the butt. But all in all, the carburetor is really good. Uh, smooth RPM band, much better than the original lawnmower carburetor, which those are made for like uh, long periods of sustained RPM. They're not really made for an ungoverned motor. Like I said before, that this motor is in fact ungoverned. I left all of the original centrifuge stuff inside the motor. It's still in there. I've run this thing for three years now without a governor and have not blown it up yet. Uh, the reason being is that I'm responsible with the uh, throttle. I don't just sit there in third gear and hold it wide open until the engine blows. If it's under a load, Give it all she's got and don't hold it there long. Just like a car. You wouldn't sit there and just keep your car at eight grand the whole time you were driving. But this thing works incredibly well. I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk about it. I'm sure you'd rather see it work. So I'm going to take this thing on a little ride and you can tell me what you think. Oh, the joke. Nice low idle. This thing runs like a top now. Even at idle, in third. 
third gear, it still kind of pulls itself along. Yeah, this thing is just an animal now. Yep, 28 millimeter Makuni. So the motor is generally otherwise stock. Um, just taking the governor off and the carburetor. It's really the only things I've done to it. Um, totally changed the engine. Totally changed the engine. Uh, power all throughout the band, not just one side or the other. It's, uh, it's almost terrifying. I, mean, I don't know if you can see my hands shaking, but uh, it's frighteningly fast. I like it. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend everyone do this because you have to get rid of your governor to do it. Um, but like I said, I've been running ungoverned for three years and I did not take the centrifuge out of the motor It's just been running just like you see it three years me pounding the piss out of it. it's been fine It doesn't burn any oil. It doesn't use any oil. It's absolutely fine um, So definitely do this at your own risk, but I highly recommend this Makuni carburetor for those of you that want to live life a little on the wild side um, Worth it worth it totally worth it. I think the carburetor cost me 25 30 bucks on eBay, so Incredible difference. Uh, definitely want to do it on a pulley swap tractor. Don't do it on something that's stock speed because you'll blow the motor immediately. Um, but give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the modification. Drop a like, as always, if you enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, I'll see you in the next crazy adventure we have together.